They're beloved by millions here in Florida and their species is at risk. Manatees, the gentle giant synonymous with our state, continue to die off year after year. Paul? That's right, Wendy, and it just so happens that November is Manatee Awareness Month, and tonight we're getting a clear picture here. Uh, they're getting near last year's historic record death rate, and tonight we're going in depth on the real challenges facing manatees. Vanessa Ariza with the local teams now working around the clock to save the species. So this is Bindi. This is a female. Um, she came from Alligator Creek. Bindi is one of 17 manatees rehabilitating a zoo Tampa. Bindi came in as a watercraft injury. Jamie Vicario is the supervisor of Florida and Manatee at the zoo. She's been here for 15 years and has watched as the rehabilitation need grew over time. When I started, we went through several months without having a manatee come in. Um, and now it's very, very rare that we're ever under double digits. That need, unfortunately, may have been at its worst last year. According to Florida Fish and Wildlife, 982 manatees died in 2021. Only 147 of those deaths were natural. This year, we're inching closer to last year's digits. Currently, 719 manatees have died this year, and we still have a month before we close out the calendar. Well, we definitely had a really rough year last year with manatees and everything going on in the Indian River Lagoon and on our East Coast. What Vicario is referencing when she mentions Indian River Lagoon is the lack of seagrass in the area, meaning these majestic creatures are starving to death. In the last two years, we've seen a loss of 25% of uh, our overall manatee population. That's over 1,800 manatees and actually less than two years have died. This is J.P. Brooker with Florida Conservation and Conservancy. He says we as humans are part of the problem, creating a nutrient-poor and dangerous water system. Basically, we are aiding in contaminating our waterways, killing off the seagrass and essentially killing the manatees really this water quality problem, it's in our control. We can reduce nutrients from going into our waterways and that will have a positive impact on manatees in the long run, so it's on us. What's not in our control is mother nature. Hurricanes like Ian have a hand in putting stress on the population and in some cases, the reason behind their death. FWC tells us after Hurricane Ian, the agency conducted three rescues most due to entrapment because of high floodwaters that displaced the manatees. The numbers are bleak, but all is not lost. And at the end of the day, Vicario believes people truly want to help. And awareness, it is making a difference. I know we have so many people in the community that want to help manatees. In Tampa, Vanessa Ariza, ABC Action News. Meanwhile, we wanted to give you another perspective on this issue. So tonight we're taking a deeper look at what we can all do to help the manatees survive and thrive in our waterways. Again, November is Manatee Awareness Month and just this year, 720 manatees have died. So I spoke to the director of communications at Save the Manatees and she tells me boaters need to be extra cautious when out on the water because manatees are very difficult to see, especially if you're going fast. Look for signs of manatees, uh, like their nose sticking up to breathe, um, what we call a manatee footprint, which is the little ripple on the water that their tail may leave um, when they're diving down. Um, and for boaters, it's, it's really helpful to wear polarized sunglasses on the water to help see. Um, and really, the number one thing we can do is just to go slow. Meanwhile, co-host also tells me over 90% of adult manatees have marks from collisions with boats. You'll even see them with propeller scars. Since many weigh over 2,000 pounds, hitting a manatee can be fatal and severely damage your watercraft. So Cohorst also says learn how to recognize the sign of a sick manatee as they're susceptible to cold stress, which can cause white lesions. And if you see one, call the Florida Fish and Wildlife Coalition Commission, that number 1-888-404-3900. 22. If you'd like to volunteer, go to their website at savethemanatees.org. Meanwhile, there's also a big push by one lawmaker to change the designation of manatees from threatened to endangered. So what's the latest on that, Paul? Yeah, right, Wendy. So here's the deal. Congressman Vern Buchanan has been pushing to move manatees from the threatened list to the endangered list. And right now he's talking about that. And the congressman also is concerned about the water quality in the manatees habitat. So in a statement that he issued today, a representative Buchanan said, 
quote as we begin uh, Manatee Awareness Month. We must do everything we can to protect these gentle giants and Florida's official marine mammal. The representative also went on to say that upgrading their status is critical to protecting these beloved animals from further decimation.